Out of all of these, the walker ropes are the ones that I use the majority of the time. When these go dead, the ATACs are uh, my backup and depending on what I'm doing, when I can get them charged, if these were to happen to go dead, then I go to the Razor XVs. Yes, I've got my little system here. And What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School. And if you cannot see here, uh, what I've got laid out and what we're gonna be discussing today are eyes and ears, okay? This is, I think, a conversation that we need to have. I know I've done reviews on a lot of the ears that I've got out here. And when you hear people talk about ears, what they're talking about is hearing protection. And then most people, for people that are newer to this, if you're watching this video, if you hear somebody say eyes and ears, uh, they're meaning check your eye protection, check your hearing protection, make sure you have that on. So let me kind of explain that for somebody that might not be uh, as savvy to some of the terms and stuff and lingo that a lot of shooters will use. So eyes means hearing prote eye protection, ears means hearing protection. So I've done some reviews on some of the different pairs of ears that I have. Uh, I've never really talked about eyes. I figured why not, we'll just go ahead and talk about eyes and ears. I'm not gonna get in depth with a lot of the hearing protection just cause I've got those videos out there that you're more than welcome to go and watch. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started just with uh, the hearing protection here. So I'll kind of get some of these things pulled out here so you can kind of take a look and see all of the different options that are out there for you. Uh, yes, I will say uh, the majority of what I have here and what I use is walkers. Uh, I do like walkers, they're really, really good. I've got some axles here. Uh, I thought they were good as well too. It's just things with the uh, walkers were a little bit more of what I'm looking for. Uh, we'll start with these, all right, these are your over the ear. Uh, they've got some big, huge, bulky ones out there. They've got some low profile ones out there, uh, but these are what go all the way over your ear. That's why I call them over the ear. Some of these others are a little bit more like your uh, Bluetooth. And we've got, we've got a pair of Bluetooth headsets because I've had people come out wearing these. All right, we're gonna talk about those as well too. And if you can notice on these right here where my finger is, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a microphone right there. Uh, there's your knob right here to turn these on. Uh, so these are what would we call amplified hearing protection. Uh, and pretty much what that means, it amplifies all the sounds around you. Uh, but what it, when it hits a certain decibel noise, uh, it will kill it and totally mute it out. Uh, I have people that will come in and wear the little squishy styrofoams. I don't have any of those here, unfortunately. But I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. And you see them on all kind of work sites. You just roll them up and stick them in your ear and then people will put these over the top. That's, that's on you. It's on you on what uh, is gonna work for you. Uh, a lot of people, you know, that's just some of people's hearing is a little bit more sensitive than others. Uh, I know mainly with rifles, people do the styrofoam with the over the ear, uh, just because yes, rifles are louder. Uh, I can, to me, I, I'm fine with just the regular amplified hearing protection, whether it's handgun or rifles, you know, maybe I'm going deaf, of course. Uh, my wife will tell you that I'm deaf. I, <laughs> she says I never listened to her. Uh, I think we all get that from time to time. Uh, but it's, it's what, what feels good to you. Uh, these others that I've got out here, uh, we've got the walkers, we've got the ropes, uh, we've got the ATACs, all right? And we've got their Razor XVs. 
So these are just different types of hearing protection and Bluetooth. Again, we've got the axles here. Uh, they hang around the neck just like what the walkers would. Uh, these again, to me, had the better sound quality. That's why I ended up going with the walkers. As you see, I still have the axles. I still use them as, as backups, um, especially if I'm running rifles because these can get pushed around with my butt stock, all right? These, all right, the Razer XVs, they don't get so much pushed around, but as you see, it pulls out, the button retracts it. So this button is usually right where I cheat with the butt stock, so sometimes this thing will run back in. It's never yanked it out of my ear while I've been shooting or on the range in a training class. The other thing is like the old, uh, LG Bluetooth headsets, these things will start to kind of turn and get crooked. Not that they're uncomfortable, it just feels awkward. Out of all of these, the walker ropes are the ones that I use the majority of the time. When these go dead, the ATACs are uh, my backup and depending on what I'm doing when I can get them charged if these were to happen to go dead Then I go to the egg razor eggs fees. Yes, I've got my little system here and all else fails going to the axles um, I use the axles too when cutting grass things like that, but as far as the range That's kind of how the order would go uh, If everything's failed then whatever I have on last will just be uh, what I use we've also got some in the ear stuff these are from axles as well too and you've got some small ones like this right here so it's not the styrofoam it's the little kind of rubber ones so you've got those as, as, op as an option as well too you know some people are going to say you know just as long as you got something to stick in your ear uh, that's good enough. I, I don't necessarily agree with that. So I've had a lot of people come out with the Google Bluetooth, um, the AirPods, and different types of wireless earbuds like this. I've done it and shot at handgun and rifle. To me, I didn't get that much protection from these. So that's, but that's just me. That's my hearing. You know, they're telling me that you know that it's working for them they they're, it's not hurting their ears or anything this is why i also have waivers so say what you want to about waivers but that's this is why i have waivers you know it's some places will not let you get in and use these now i will say my heavier classes where we're out there running guns all day there i'll be honest i'm not gonna let you wear these permit class we're only out there for you know maybe 30 45 minutes to do the shooting and stuff then is if you're telling me it's not hurting your ears that's fine but if you're coming into one of my four to eight hour classes you need you some good hearing protection that's why i wanted to talk about this you can get these very inexpensive uh, the Bluetooth stuff here with the walkers and the axles, these that I, I talked about, all right, this is Bluetooth and hearing protection. So by what you're going to pay for, Bluetooth headsets, they're going to float depending on what you go with between $100 to $300, all right, because yes, they even make your hearing protection like what I've got laid out here in uh, like little AirPods. Walker got some out there. Uh, I haven't had a chance to try them out. Uh, my brother's gotten them. He's used them, tried them out. He really likes them. But now they're, they're, they look more like AirPods than anything else. But they do have that option if that's what you like. But if you're coming into a four to eight hour class of mine, you're going to need some good hearing protection. Okay, so uh, these I will let you get away with on the range for a permit class, but not an all day class. I don't think they work that great. That's just me personally. That's my hearing and what I like to uh, cover my ear. Again, these all that I, all these Bluetooths that I've got laid out here, I've got separate videos for them. If you want to see some of the in-depth stuff about them, because there's some really great features on these that are really cool and I do like. Uh, and they also have it on the little, the silencers 
And God, I cannot remember the name of the newer ones that look like the AirPods. You'll have to forgive me on that, but I'll have a link down in the description so you can go in and look at these. The uh, review videos at the toward the end of this video, I'll have a playlist linked in with the gear and stuff so you can get over and take a look at them. All right, now with eye protection, okay, you have eye protection that is designed specifically for shooting. Of course, I've got darker ones for the brighter days. And then I've got clear ones for days that are not that bright. All right, these do have a little bit of tint to them, but it's uh, very small. I don't remember what it was. I'll let you go in there and check that out. Uh, but they do also have uh, these where you can interchange the lens to the yellow and things like that. Uh, you're going to hear people talk about yellow versus clear versus dark. Uh, I have worn some that, yes, the uh, yellow did make uh, the targets to me stand out a little bit more. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't going to spend uh, the money that those cost. So if, if you're on a budget, what I'm going to tell you is having something over your eyes is better than nothing. If it's fucking goggles, I really don't care. All right. Having something over your eyes is better than nothing. Is it best to have them like safety glasses or shooting specific glasses? Yes, because you're going to have a higher level of protection. But I understand budgets are budgets. If you spent your budget on your gun and the eye protection is looking a little expensive, I mean, they do, they make, you can get a little cheap pair of safety glasses like these that aren't that expensive. So, but look, I understand budgets are budgets. Something over your eyes is better than nothing. I'll be honest, some of you are probably going to give me shit about this. I really don't care. I've gone out and shot with prescription glasses on and had no eye protection over the top of it. So, say what you want. But now, I have gone and invested in prescription glasses that are designed and rated just like what your safety glasses would be. So that I have done, if it comes down to it, that's what I'm gonna be wearing when I go out to the range. But sunglasses, again, anything over your eyes is better than nothing over your eyes at all. If you don't believe me, go on YouTube, type in gun fails, and you're gonna find what can happen with not wearing the proper protection. Um, and people that have had some really, really close calls. But get yourself some type of eye protection and some type of ear protection. You need it when you're out shooting guns, especially if you're going to be on the range with rifles, big caliber rifles and handguns, all right? Or if there's just going to be a lot of people in the class that you're in that are going to be out on the range shooting. If you want to double up, double up. It's what is comfortable, what works for you. Um, I don't specifically require the amplified hearing protection, uh, but you need some type of quality hearing protection. Like I showed you, just the, the little rubber pieces, the little styrofoam pieces, you roll them, stick in your ear. That over your Bluetooth little Google Pod, Apple Pod, and all that crap, Jabra, or whatever else, Boss, and all that, they... Permit classes, anything short time frame, we're going to be on the range. I'm cool with that. Four to six hours, you need some good hearing protection. And some good hearing protection is not that expensive either. So you can go up to your upper end with this stuff that I've got laid out here. I like these better. I got tired of these things squeezing my fat head. So I do like these better. They're, they come with different... Uh, ear pieces as well too as far as sizes and that's for all of these uh, the walkers and the axes but something is better than nothing it's just going to depend on where you go on what they're going to require and what they're going to want now if you do need some good 
hearing protection and some good eye protection and you want to get you a nice little shirt like what I've got on here, uh, make sure you get out to NoOtherChoice.com, SCGS5. Uh, that discount is for gear and swag. Unfortunately, that discount is not applied to his training classes. But if you are needing some good eye and ear protection, you want to save some money, again, NoOtherChoice.com, SCGS5, South Carolina Gun School abbreviated with the number five, I'll have the websites and the codes somewhere in the screen. Uh, the playlist will be, be coming up toward the end of the video for you to go in and look at the in-depth review on the, the hearing protection here. Again, thank you all for the support. Thank you for watching. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Please um, check out our links below. Uh, we've got Give, Send, Go going right now, so uh, helping raise money so we can add a new range to the facility here anybody please share uh, help out any way that you can we've got memberships going now with some great videos i've already got uh, with the uh, members only videos some great training videos to go in there and help you out so there is some help where you can get it off the range and then we'll reinforce it on the range as well too so Please continue to support, like, follow, subscribe, uh, join if you can. That would be great. But any support you give is always greatly appreciated. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.